Go ahead. Mr. President-elect, go ahead. Can you say categorically a question? Mr. President-elect, can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. No, I'm not going to give you a question. I'm not going to give you a question. Can you say categorically? You are fake news. Sir. I'm Dr. Dave Chanda. Welcome back to Dave versus the MSM. I'd like to thank you for joining me today and thanks for networking this information to all those you know and love. Look, uh, our content, uh, whether on any social media platform or frankly even on the radio through the FCC, our, our content is heavily suppressed. Why? Because our content brings information to people that makes the globalist cult accountable for their crimes against you and everyone you know and against humanity in general. Our content can, is also inspirational in that it tries to motivate people to stand up and to stand tall for freedom. The cult has gotten their power, maintained their power, and enhanced their power by locking people down. Makes, makes the last five years what their operation was with this and this, right? Lockdowns. They fear you and everyone you know standing up and standing tall. Because when that happens, their con their freedom-stripping agenda falls apart at the seams. Ronald Reagan once said, quote, Freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We did not pass it on to our children in the bloodstream. It must be fought for, protected, and handed on for them to do the same. In other words, to stand up and to stand tall, right? Or one day we will spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it was once like in the United States where men and women were free. End quote. Stand up. Stand tall. Uh, an entity called the Rutherford Institute, and in particular John and Nisha Whitehead, who helped founded that organization, recently wrote a um, article I want to share with you. Unfortunately, you got very little exposure, and, and it is really excellent. The article was entitled, Get Up, Stand Up, Don't Give Up the Fight, Know Your Rights, or You Will Lose Them. It's very true. Very few people, and, there's, and this is not an accident or a coincidence or from incompetence, but very few people are educated in our school systems about the Constitution. Because if you don't know about the Constitution, you don't know about our rights. You don't know about our country's heritage and founding principles. And if you don't know about them, then you're ignorant and you'll more easily just hand them off. Here's what the Whiteheads wrote. Unfortunately, you can only defend your rights when you know them, and the American people and those who represent them are utterly ignorant about their freedoms, history, and how the government is supposed to operate. More than government corruption and ineptitude, terrorism, gun violence, drugs, illegal immigration, or any other so-called danger that threatens our nation, civic illiteracy may be what finally pushes us over the edge. As Thomas Jefferson warned, no nation can be both ignorant and free. Unfortunately, the American people have existed in a technology-laden, entertainment-fueled, perpetual state of cluelessness for so long that civic illiteracy has become the new normal for the citizenry. Calvin Coolidge, uh, 30th President of the United States, wrote, uh, quote, Unless the people, through unified action, arise and take charge of their government, they will find that their government has taken charge of them. Independence and liberty will be gone and the general public will find itself in a condition of servitude to an aggregation of organized and selfish interest, end quote. Yeah, can you say criminal banking syndicate? Yeah. The Whiteheads go on, those who gave us the Constitution and the Bill of Rights believe that the government exists at the behest of its citizens 
The government's purpose is to protect, defend, and even enhance our freedoms, not violate them. It was no idle happenstance that the Constitution opens with these three powerful words, quote, we the people, end quote. Those who founded this country knew quite well that every citizen must remain vigilant or freedom would be lost. As Thomas Paine recognized, quote, is the responsibility of the patriot to protect his country from its government, end quote. You have no rights unless you exercise them. Still, you cannot exercise your rights unless you know what those rights are. As the Brennan Center concludes, quote, America, unlike most of the world's nations, is not a country defined by blood or belief. America is an idea or a set of ideas about freedom and opportunity. It is these ideas that bind us together as Americans and have kept us free, strong, and prosperous. But these ideas do not perpetuate themselves. They must be taught and learned anew with each generation. Which brings me to Harry Truman, who on August 8, 1950, said the following, quote, Once a government is com committed to the principle of silencing the voice of opposition, it only has one way to go, and that is down the path of increasing repressive measures until it becomes a source of terror to all its citizens and creates a country where everyone lives in fear, end quote. Sound familiar? Yeah. It's all about totalitarianism, of which what globalism, the globalists, the globalist cult, are all about. The Whiteheads go on, America needs more freedom fighters. It doesn't need more government or controlled or compromised globalist puppets. No, America needs more freedom fighters. Unfortunately, there are a lot of people in our country, a lot right out here in the People's Republic of Ann Arbor, who believes that the government is here to protect you. The, the, the government is, is, is just your friend. They should always be trusted. I take you to Ronald Reagan in uh, August 12th of 1986. Reagan said, quote, the nine most terrifying words in the English language are, quote, I'm from the government and I'm here to help, end quote. Yeah, he was right. The Whiteheads go on, it's up to us, and they're right, it is up to us. We have the power to make and break the government. We, the American people, the citizenry, are the arbitrators and ultimate guardians of America's welfare, defense, liberty, laws, and prosperity. We must act and act responsibly. A healthy representative government is hard work. It takes a citizenry that is informed about the issues, educated about how the government operates, and willing to make the sacrifices necessary to stay involved. As Martin Luther King Jr. recognized in a speech delivered on December 5th, 1955, just four days after Rosa Parks was arrested for refusing to relinquish her seat on a Montgomery City bus, King stated, quote, democracy transformed from thin paper to thick action is the greatest form of government on earth, end quote. You see, folks, it's imperative that you know your rights that you exercise your rights, that you defend your rights. Because if not, you'll lose them. You know, many people believe that the cult is all powerful and that it always wins. Well, it does win some of the time. They are sinister, they are smart, they're not dumb, and they are evil. But just over the past several years, look at, look at some of the wins. There was a blocking of their totalitarian agenda and their health stripping operation. 30% of the population stood up to it and blocked it. It's why you're not locked down today. Why you're not social distanced today. Why you're still not wearing 14 of these a day. It's why there are no mandated today. It's a big win. Came at a big price, though. 
because too many people caved. But 30% did not. And that was enough to win the game. Look at how central bank digital currencies have been blocked. You now had the House of Representatives pass some legislation saying that now nah, these things now nah, weren't. Why? Because of pressure from you and all those you know and love who contacted local officials, state officials, and Fed officials and said, we're wise to this, stop it. Blocking the WHO's, you know, treaty recently. Yeah. Although they're always going to try to come up with some other new treaty. Blocking the DEI agenda. Blocking the ESG financial freedom stripping agenda. The, the, the calling out of the two-tiered weaponized just us system, which is targeting those who support freedom. The calling out of the cult's endless wars, the calling out of the totalitarian's border civ operation, the calling out of the totalitarian's illegal surveillance operation, the exposing of the cult's censorship operations, the exposing of the cult's election installation operation. Now, you see, folks, you've already had a bunch of wins. They just don't want you to realize it. And it's not that we sit on our laurels and say, oh, well, we did some pretty good things there. We're just going to sit back. No, 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 no. That's a launch pad for us continuing all of our efforts. Because when it comes down to it, the essence, freedom is not a spectator sport. It's about standing up and standing tall. Because when we do that, we benefit all those generations to come. The generations now in our country that are too young to vote, to exercise their rights. Every kid, every child, every teenager, every young adult who is ignorant of the Constitution, of their God-given, God-given rights, those are the ones that we're ultimately serving and helping. It's true. We're not just helping ourselves individually. Yeah, we do get some benefit individually, but it's all those others. That's who we're really serving. It's also one of the reasons why the cult focuses on harming and they do, the very young amongst all of us, our future. Yeah. So one of the best things you can do to all the young people around you, and actually not so young around you, that are ignorant of their rights is help educate them about the Constitution, about our God given rights and how globalist cult puppets are acting like demons to strip us of those rights. All true, not hyperbole. We are available 24-7 at DaveJanda.com. Tremendous amount of free content there, but where the real meat of the matter is, is on the premium service content side. It's 30 cents a day. You can afford it. You cannot not afford it. It will save your life. That's not an overstatement. If you talk to our subscribers, they'll tell you. The content put me so far ahead of the curve, not just days or weeks, not just months, years, and in some cases decades ahead of the curve, that I had time to take the steps to protect myself and my family, to, to help as many people that were willing to listen. 
That's what we're there for. 24-7. DaveJanda.com I thank you for joining me today. Until next time, Dave Janda signing off. Dream big and dare to fail. Thanks for your time today.